In this video, I'm going to talk about the variance of the Hamiltonian for stationary states. This video is part six of a mini series dedicated to stationary states. You can find some links in the description below. First of all, I want to summarize some facts that we actually uh, managed to derive these little relationships in the previous videos. So first of all, let's have a look at the Hamiltonian and its expectation value. So the Hamiltonian, if we take its expectation value, that is actually equal to E. Now this is true for the stationary state. And what we also found, we found an analogous relationship for H squared. So H squared is actually, if we take the expectation value of that, that's E squared. So this is an analogous relationship. And it's actually a very special relationship for stationary states. And it's going to allow for a very useful cancellation that we're going to see in about a minute. So what I want to do is I want to take these two useful facts, I want to combine them together, and I want to find the variance of the Hamiltonian uh, specifically for a stationary state. So this is actually called a state of definite energy. And I'll explain why it's called a, a state of definite energy in a second, after we calculate the variance. So the variance of the Hamiltonian is the sigma squared. So sigma squared is, is the variance. And this little h is a subscript that is referring to the, the value that we're uh, concerned with, or actually the variable that we're concerned with. So this guy is equivalent to the expectation of the square minus the square of the expectation. So this guy over here is h squared, and this is just h. So over here, we're taking the square of the Hamiltonian, and then we're taking the expectation value. And over here, we're taking the expectation value, and then we're squaring whatever that expectation value is. So we know what this is, right? This is equal to e squared. So this over here, that's e squared. We found that in a previous video. What about this over here? Well, the expectation value of h is just e. So when we find the expectation value of h, we're going to get e. But then we have to square it. So if we square that, that's again going to give us e squared. So you might be able to see why these guys are such a special little relationship. So what we're going to get is e squared minus e squared. And that's just equal to 0. So the takeaway message for this video is that the variance of the Hamiltonian, so the sigma squared, is equal to 0 for a stationary state. I'll put a big box around this. So this is equal to 0. What does that physically mean? If we have a system prepared in a stationary state, so it's described by one of those separable solutions to the Schrodinger equation, if we have a system of that type and we do a measurement of the energy, we're going to keep getting the same value. So there's going to be no spread. Right? The variance is a way of quantifying the spread in the data. But if the variance is zero, there is no spread in the data. Every single value that you measure is going to be exactly the same. And the value that you get is e. e, which is the expectation value, is going to be the value you get every single time you perform a measurement on a stationary state. So that is actually why these states are called states of definite energy. And they're very special. That's, that's a unique property of these states. In general, states are going to be linear combinations of separable solutions. So they're not just going to be simple separable solutions, but they're going to be separable solutions added together with some constants. And we've talked about that in previous videos. Those types of solutions are not going to satisfy these types of properties. And they're going to have some kind of non-zero variance. So there's going to be a bit of a spread of the possible values of energy you can get. So if you measure at one particular time, there might be a certain probability of getting these values of energy or these values of energy. And overall, you'll get some kind of expectation. It gives you a sense of uh, the total energy's average value. And you'll also get some kind of variance, which tells you the spread of, of those values. But for here, for these stationary states, for these states of definite energy, we have a very special situation. And that special situation is that if you measure a state that is a stationary state, 
you are guaranteed with 100% probability to get the expectation value of the Hamiltonian, which is E. That is the energy of that state of definite energy. So each of these uh, stationary states actually have a definite energy. They have an energy value that is associated with them. And that is that value that goes up in the exponential factor uh, that comes into the time dependence. And that value that sits up there in the exponential factor, that is E. That is the same E over here. And that energy tells you the energy of the state of definite energy. So this is the concluding video of this little mini series on stationary states. The goal of this series was to give you a little uh, glimpse of what stationary states are in quantum mechanics and how they can actually be very useful and how they can actually build other solutions. Make sure you watch some of the other videos in this playlist so you get a, a bigger picture of what's actually going on in quantum mechanics. So the takeaway message of this video is that for a stationary state or a state of definite energy, the variance of the Hamiltonian is zero. Make sure to watch all the other videos in this quantum mechanics playlist. You can find them all by clicking here.